Hi, my name is Ray Curlick. I'm a partner with the law firm of Wadler, Purchase, Hundle & Curlick in Wharton, Texas. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about contracts and certain provisions that most of us have seen or heard of in contracts. Today I would like to talk a little bit about liquidated damages provisions. Liquidated damage provisions typically uh, are included uh, in form contracts. What do I mean by form contracts? That means it's a contract that you had nothing to do with drafting. Uh, and typically you're going to be held uh, to certain provisions uh, within that contract even though you really had nothing to do with drafting them. Liquidated, dam liquidated damages is often such a clause. Now, it's important to know that in Texas, liquidated damages clauses are very weakly enforceable. And what that means is they must have some relationship to the actual damage suffered typically by delay uh, or failure to perform. And so a liquidated damage clause says uh, if uh, you're a day late uh, or for each day that you are late uh, on a particular project, you owe $5,000 just to pick a number. Now if $5,000 is just literally that, a number picked out of the air, most courts will not enforce a provision like that. What they're going to want to know is what is the actual cost of delay with regard to this particular project. Um, if it's simply the time value of money, it may be just a percentage interest. Uh, it may be nothing at all, depending on what the situation is. And so uh, what we've seen is liquidated damages clause are almost always contested in a lawsuit. So. Uh, I would suggest any time that you're con signing off on a form contract of some sort, you should certainly strike a liquidated damages clause um, if you are the contractor uh, involved in that. Uh, and if they're unwilling to give, then you should certainly contact an attorney and discuss what are my real liabilities here under this liquidated damage provision. Um, that's typically true of almost any form contract or, or master service agreement as the case may be. You should always consult with an attorney to discuss what other types of provisions are in there. But liquidated damage is one that strikes a lot of fear in people and probably shouldn't. But I'd be happy to discuss this with you at further length. Uh, feel free to contact us to discuss it and we appreciate your time. Thanks.